Hey guys, I apologize for not the best lighting here, but I wanted to get this video out. Um, September's a lot of different month and awareness months, but one of them is women's health and fitness. And yesterday I took a great class at Lifetime for Pilates. And I had a great time talking to the instructor after because a lot of her cues for how to button up or engage or zip up um, and connect the core and pelvic floor were really awesome and totally in agreement with what we try to teach clients here. One thought I shared with her was women who might have some pelvic floor dysfunction aren't necessarily going to understand why their body's responding a certain way. And in certain circumstances could potentially get worse from a really great class that's engaging core and pelvic floor. So one key thing to note is she taught engage, not clench or tighten. We wanna help these muscles work together. We wanna to help them to turn on when they're supposed to turn on, but that also makes it critically important that they then also relax. So that being said, I just gave her some red flags that I wanted to share with you. If clients share that somehow they're having more pain in their hips, low back, tailbone, pelvic floor, more issues with painful sex, increased or the onset of any kind of urinary leakage or bowel issues, they might be making a tight or asymmetrical system tighter and actually contributing to their dysfunction. Obviously she can't see what the internal pelvic floor muscles are doing. And while the class was amazing and the cues were great, if someone's got kind of a dysfunctional system, they could inadvertently make themselves worse. So big fan of Pilates, big fan of yoga. Obviously we have the yoga studio here. Um, we're gonna be adding a belly dance class soon, which again is gonna be a lot of engaging that core. And so we're gonna be having these same conversations around that as well. Um, and part of why I'm so excited about our stretch sessions. One thing that is really important is to learn how to relax your pelvic floor. And it was also great, she had us flip over and do some abdominal stretching too. So it's not just tighten, engage, tighten, engage, tighten, engage. It's also stretch, relax, open, so that we're not clenched forward and we're not hyperextended back. We want those muscles engaged and working together. Hope that makes sense. Uh, we'll have more in the body of the email and everything. Please reach out with any questions. Um, we really don't want clients feeling uncertain or confused or fearful about the best exercise for them. Moving your body is the key to health and longevity, and we wanna make sure you feel confident doing it. So please reach out.